Welcome to the Klein Institute for Radio Repair. I've got an idea. I think it's rather clever. I like to wander around the house with my All-Star Link HT. I've got a ham VOIP node up on the shelf. And I uh, have this, uh, this HT here, the VX1R. It uh, has no DTMF buttons. So dialing, connecting, disconnecting can be a bit of a challenge. So I've been running this software called Home Automation Bridge from BWS Systems. It's pretty clever. It can be run on any Pi. BWS Systems HA-Bridge, pick it up at GitHub, install it. Once it's installed, it looks like this, come across the web server. And we can go down through, I've written an all-star status object. Let's go in and edit that. Whatever I called it is going to be the name that it's invoked by. On items, come under the target and there's a script there. It's a secure shell because it's running on a different Raspberry Pi and home all-star status shell. So that's just simply asterisk space minus rx space double quotes rpt space fun space my node number spaced asterisk seven zero double quote and I run that remotely. Once it's saved, I can ask she who must not be named here on her website under Smart Home to discover new devices. She will say that it is discovered and you treat it like it was a home automation device. You, you're going to turn it on or off. Here it is, all star status. It's emulating a Royal Philips electronic smart device. So how this is going to work is we will say into our microphone, and there's our HT, Alexa, turn on all star status. And it works. So that's a cool idea. You can create as many scripts as you want and you can call them up by your uh, echo dot commands, voice command, anything you want to run from a command line in uh, Raspberry Pi can be done and connected to your voice command. There you have it. Thanks for watching the Klein Institute for Radio Repair. This is M3FIA.